Hey Freebs Nation, Jordan Page from FunCheaperFree.com here. Why so late? Why the weird lighting? Why the awkward angle? Why do I look like I've just been hit by a truck? We're moving. We're moving. We're moving. So I'm gonna show you how I'm packing my entire life to live for two weeks out of one suitcase. What? Let's do it. It's true, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that we are moving. It is a crazy story and don't worry, I tell you all about it on my blog. I will link that blog post below. But the fact of the matter is we have started the packing process. Everyone in my family is getting one suitcase and this suitcase is going to have to be everything they need to survive for two full weeks. My suitcase is all packed and ready to go so I thought I'd just flip on my camera and show you like literally in real time what I'm packing, what I can't live without and why I'm bringing it. And while we're here, thank you Dime for partnering with us on this video and making it happen. All right, let me show you inside this bad boy. First things first, let's talk about the suitcase. I hate to say it, but it's really nothing fancy. We got it from Walmart and I've been really happy with it. It's been nice and durable. So I will find this and link it below, but I think it's pretty cute. She's been pretty good to me so far. Like I said, everything I need to survive for two weeks is in this suitcase. Let's look inside, shall we? Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, um, actually, hold on, let me, let me just, um, clean this up for a minute. Hold on. I'll be right back in a second. All right, let's try that again. Let's start with this side of my suitcase. This is the non-clothing side. So, let me give you a tour. Okay, first things first my makeup bag, everything I need in the whole world, whether it's just day-to-day -day makeup or whether I'm going to church or going on a date or doing something fancier. I have everything I need in this one makeup bag. Um, by the way, everything you see, I will link below and I will also gather as many discount codes as I can find for all of these items. Makeup is a must. And I love having a good makeup bag because I do my makeup everywhere, like in the car, at the grocery store, in the preschool pickup line, the waiting room at the doctor's office, like everywhere. Aside from makeup and hair, I try to take care of myself even when I'm in the middle of moving. So a few things I never leave home without is collagen powder, BCAAs, and caffeine. I mix all three of these together in my cold cup every morning and this helps my hair, skin, and nails and the rest of it just keeps me going. I also take my vitamins with me and try to remember to take those every day. Let's go over here to my toiletries bag and I will show you all the goodies in here. Let's talk skincare for a minute. I take off my makeup every single night. I know some people like to sleep in their makeup because it makes it easier the next morning. I think that is just suicide for your skin. So I use a makeup removing microfiber cloth at night to take off my makeup. One thing I never leave home without is my entire Dime Beauty skincare regimen. I have worked so stinking hard to get my skin looking good again after being pregnant with and then giving birth to the twins. It wrecked my skin. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I talk about this all the time. Anytime someone asks me about my skin, this is what it is. Let me show you. Oh, and I do have a promo code to get all of this for an amazing price. Check my link below. What I got is called The Works and it's everything you need for daytime and nighttime and they bundle it all together so it makes everything less than $20 a piece which if you've ever been to a spa or to an esthetician you know that skincare usually costs way more than $20 and this stuff is awesome. The ingredients are clean, vegan, cruelty free. It's like really quality stuff and it's super affordable. Okay, my nighttime routine is the Gentle Jelly Cleanser. So I use this first on my face and I love it because it gets nice and frothy so it's not too thick and heavy and it doesn't dry out my face but it cleans it really well. Okay, next, I have never used a toner before because for some reason I felt like toner was really gonna dry out my face but this doesn't and in fact, it actually balances the pH in my skin. It helps increase the energy production of your cells. It's really good for your face and it just really nourishes your skin so I do this next. Then at night, I use hyaluronic acid. If you haven't heard of this stuff, you've been living under a rock. It's kind of the fountain of youth right here. It hydrates your face, but it also plumps your skin. So it makes it look more youthful by adding more of that bounce and plump to it that you tend to lose over time. And all of this comes in the kit, by the way, in that works kit, in the works, which I recommend. But you could get all of these individually if you wanted. And then at night, there's the restorative night cream. This reduces the look of fine lines and wrinkles and all that stuff. It is thick, but it 
is not greasy at all. It absorbs in so well and feels amazing. Oh, I love this stuff. Okay, so that's what I do at night. During the day, I wash with the gentle jelly cleanser and then I use Hyperglow, which is their vitamin C serum. And it, it's basically just like a shot of vitamin straight to your face. So I will put it right on my skin, rub it in, it absorbs like that. And then I top it with the moisturizer, this dewy day cream. This also has antioxidant ingredients in it, as well as rose hips. So your skin stays really moisturized. And then I go put on my makeup as usual, and my skin has done awesome. Like I said, I don't leave home without this stuff. It's a dream, you guys, it's a dream. And again, use my code JP20 to get 20% off the entire store. I recommend getting the works bundle because it's already discounted and then you throw my code on top of it and it's madness, I tell you. So that's what I use for my skin. Ooh, jelly bean. Dang it. Now that along with that, let's talk about her. In this case, I did pack a blow dryer, a straightener, and a curling iron. But if I was packing super light and could only pick one thing, I would pick the straightener because I can let my hair air dry and then I can straighten it or curl it with this. In this case, I do have the space. Again, I'll link all this below. Let's see what other little goodies I have in here. I like Heritage by Mindy. She's a friend of mine for one, but I also just love that they're small and they work on all of our hair including my girls with super curly hair the boys everybody like one product fits all you can buy these at Walmart and so they're really affordable but my real hair secrets so y'all know I love dry shampoo I like this super inexpensive brown tinted kind my real secret of the universe is this root tint spray what you don't know is that my hair is growing out and I haven't gotten it done yet it's also still a little thin from the babies so this stuff is amazing I got it to match the color of my hair and let's see if I can do this in the camera Oh, I'm doing a bad job. But when I spray it on my hairline, it makes my hair look so much thicker. It also hides my regrowth and helps extend the life of my hair until my next appointment. So shh, don't tell anyone that my hair is not so thick. This is the trick. Okay, and then this is the travel version, but my favorite $5, whoa! My favorite $5 brushes, never leave home without these. Okay, that's it for my toiletries. And then of course my toothbrush and toothpaste, but that's boring. I have a work bag, and that's what these here are kind of representing. My work bag has my iPad, my computer, my computer chargers, and then I also never leave home without my budget planner, my productivity planner, and this has really saved my life in terms of pacing me and helping me stay on track with getting everything done. So I always have those. Chargers, I have shown this before in my travel videos but what I love is this one charger allows for six different cords so I can have my watch my airpods my phone everything charging all at once all right and then last but not least on this side shoes now over the next two weeks we've got the holidays and we've got all these other things so shoes can be tricky right so here's what I bring I bring one pair of athletic shoes for exercising or just moving day whatever else and yes they're filthy Ooh, ooh. I bring one pair of flip-flops or sandals, and then I usually just bring one pair of everyday shoes that go with everything. Whether I wear jeans or even a dress, casual, dressed up, these have really kind of matched everything. But another option that I couldn't really decide between, so I'm trying to fit both, are these bad boys. Aren't they cute? And I feel like gray goes with everything. So those are my shoes. All right, now let's talk about the clothing that I packed. One thing I like to do is I do like to use these packing pods. I got these on Amazon. They were really inexpensive. In here, I've got my skivvies and my socks. No, I'm not going to show you. Shoo away. One of my tricks with packing is I try to find things that are mix and match and really, really easy to wash. Things that aren't wrinkly and things that can be layered. It's really just a big game of mix and match, I find. So here's what I settled on. Let's start with the pants. For two weeks, I will probably bring two pairs of jeans plus the ones that I'm wearing. Maybe that's excessive, I don't know, but I bring like a darker, nicer pair of jeans and then otherwise just some working jeans. Lucky for us, we do have access to a washer and dryer. So I basically am packing for an entire week plus a day or two and then plan to do laundry at some point. And then in this case, we actually have a Christmas concert that we are going to during this two weeks. So I am actually bringing some cute dressier pants. I got these from Target. They're just high-waisted leopard pants that let's be honest, 
honest, they're real cute. The last thing I do for pants are, these are the Modest Shop-In joggers. I will link these below. What I love about them is they're joggers, but the material is a little bit silkier, so they're not wrinkly, and I have actually worn these to like nice things. They just look like dress pants. But when I wear them with the Modest Shop-In matching top, then it looks like a jogger outfit, like a one-piece jogger suit, or separate pieces, and they're total mix and match. And I have the long sleeve top, and I have the short sleeve top, and I have it in maroon and black. They have all sorts of different colors. Okay, I think that's it for pants, so now let's move on to tops. For the tops, again, I usually choose just really basic, solid colors that are easy to wash, match everything, mix and match easily. So you saw the maroon top. I have just a really plain gray v-neck. I have one basic lightweight sweater. I have several black tops, if I'm being totally honest with you. Different necklines, lengths. I have one long sleeve Leave just lightweight sweatshirt. Oh, and then I threw this in last minute. When I feel like I've just been wearing a plain black shirt for several days, I have just a really simple button up that I tie around my waist, which I feel like dresses up any plain t-shirt. And it especially looks cute with the jeans and the boots for the fall and winter. Now for pajamas, I actually prefer pajamas that could actually be worn as like an outfit as well. So this is a jogger set. I'll link this below. And then I bring a good sweater that could basically go with anything that I just packed. It's winter here in Utah and it does get chilly, so I'm all about the layers. I do have room and so I packed one light pink sweater. Again, kind of the same concept of this. If I just get tired of wearing plain colors all day long, then I have that. And I do have one super basic, loose fitting graphic tee. I could sleep in it, I could wear it. Okay, and then I need one dress because I will have church during my two weeks. The one dress that I chose, I love it because it's long so I don't have to shave my legs. I don't even know what the magical material is, but it doesn't wrinkle. So I can just throw it in my bag and look nice without having to carry a steamer, which I do have a little travel steamer and I will link that because it's awesome. But in this case, I'm trying to pack light. So I really just focused on wrinkle-free fabrics instead. And I like to bring one exercise outfit. <laughs> Animal print, obviously. And these are just from Amazon. Just a plain tank top and a sports bra. That's it, you guys. Oh, I also bring a plain black and a plain white heirloom t-shirt. I wear these under everything. It just helps. I'm wearing a tan one right now. If I'm leaning over, if I'm moving, this just kind of keeps me decent, adds another layer, smooths me out. So I have one of each of these in my bag at all times. Oh my gosh, I think that's it. So there you go, you guys. That is how I'm packing for myself in one bag for two weeks. Everything I need to survive and more is in this bag. What do you think? How did I do? Okay, you guys, that's it. I gotta go pack the rest of my family. It's really kind of stressing me out because there was messes everywhere, but Thank you to Dime Beauty for sponsoring this video. You guys are awesome. And thank you for watching. You guys are the best. Wish me luck. Go follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna show you the house here pretty soon. As soon as it's ours, I'm sneaking peeks to you. Does anyone wanna come back up my kitchen? There's a lot of stuff in there. I guess I should get going. All right, bye you guys. Wish me luck. Bye.